Alright, this is Serotaurus playing uh, Final Fantasy V. Uh, well, first we're gonna deal with the uh, the whole job issue. Uh, so right now everybody is a blue mage. Um, I went back into the uh, the wind shrine, and I learned arrow and job bombs. You learn arrow from the Maudlins, the the weird flying eel things. And you learn gob punch from the black goblins. So just make everyone a blue mage. Go in there and find, you know, a black goblin and don't kill it. Just just sit there and let it attack you until it uses a god punch. And then once it uses it, kill it. Same thing with a mobbed one. But until it uses the arrow. The arrow's a lot stronger. He actually killed... Um, see, if everybody's a blue mage, I don't know. Because it killed her. It killed Raina when they used it, but everybody else was a blue mage. But everybody learned it. She learned it too. I don't know Because she died. But since the party survived, I guess that's how they learned it. So. Um, yeah, the job that Max is gonna have, everybody have, are he's gonna be a knight, which you can see it shows at the bottom, right? He can equip all weapons and well, all you can equip short swords, long swords, and you know, so shield. Well, you can equip like heavy armor, right? See, so you can equip all this. Shit. That's awesome. Great. Um, she's gonna be a white mage. She can't equip um, weapons. She can't equip regular weapons. She can equip break the light armor. I don't think she can equip all the heavy armor, but she can equip a staff. Yay. Sucks. Really. But okay. And Galoof, I'm gonna go on black mage. And he can equip short swords and rods. Um, they're not too strong the black mages, but they're well balanced. Um for Ferris. Um I, here's what I mean. you can make her the or you can make her a monk. I'm gonna go with monk. Um, uh, monks don't use any. Basically, it's like Sabine from Final Fantasy VI. Doesn't use any weapons. Hits twice, like punch, punch. Um, it has really high stamina, but again, doesn't use a weapon and doesn't have any armor. So. Also, I'm not sure if you can run anymore. Did I? Sorry. There it is. I can't even hear it. I can't even hear any of it. Uh, yeah, I'll just make sure. Okay. Uh, so right now we need to go back to. Um, yeah, you can't run if you don't have a thief, by the way. Like if you hold um, B or circle or X, I guess depending on what kind of controller you have. I don't know. You can't run without a thief. Party, so that would be a reason you want to get a thief just to move a little faster. Than you I think I need to go back down here, not this way, um, back to that cave at the top. But you have to go through the bottom to get there, which is you know, all these, see all this, yeah, okay, nonsense. So let's go. Can't run, such a pain. I should have made someone a thief, but you know what? And you can change any time, which is why it's beneficial to go make someone, everybody, a blue mage to, to learn that stuff because that's really better magic than the black magic. The black magic is really only useful for, like, when someone has an obvious elemental weakness. But even a blue mage will learn somewhat better magic than that, you know? If the black mage doesn't, I don't think they learn the best magic, you know? They do the best damage, or have, like, they're not really stand out. You know what I mean? Uh, unless you're like, oh, they're weak against lightning, and then it's like, okay, well. But blue mages learn lightning, you know, like, whatever, as well. Alright. Oh yeah, see, Boko's footprints. He must have followed us into the cave. Yeah, must have. So let's go in. <laughs> Why'd you turn sideways, bud? So we need to go through the cave again, which is fun. Good cave music. And that's a little recovery spring that we don't really need right now. Um. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, it's not that bad, see. You know, First enemies in the game, that's too hard. Also, you know, I've always wondered why do they have so many bats? You know, like bats don't actually like see you do a lot like that. You do like a bot. You know, anyway, um the shield do like 15 or something. Five. You can fight the one with the shield. Yeah. Alright. Um yeah, the only the, the, that's the thing. White mage, you don't know, using it for attack, that's why it's not a big deal. Really. Um, but yeah, I always wonder why bats. Bats don't really attack people. Do they? I mean, I've seen a couple bats in my life. 
never attacked me. Just kind of weird. Which I guess maybe it's kind of weird that I've even seen a couple bats. Like, I have the zoo just for a couple bats, you know? And I found one when I was uh, at church one time. So weird. It was a bat. It was sleeping. It was just a sleeping bat with the toys and everything. And I was like, what is that? It's a weird looking toy to have a church guy say. It was a bat. <laughs> the teacher was like, or the, you know, I mean, she was basically a daycare sitter so kind of, you know, what they do with children's the church and stuff. Like churches and all that. She's basically just a cool thing that you see. She was like, oh my god. And she like picked, I swear, she didn't, she didn't kill the bat. She didn't take the bat out. Like, that's what I would have done. I would have took the bat outside and just dropped it. I mean, it was asleep because it was daytime. You know, it was wings furled in and everything. Well, she just put it, wrapped it in a paper towel and dropped it in a trash can. Like, not a big trash can. Not, like, it, it's just... It, it, well, I don't understand. Like, you think it was just gonna lay there all day? It wasn't dead. It was a horn. I mean, it squeezed it. It went. <laughs> Which I felt like a dick after I found out it was uh, a bat and not a toy, you know. Because, like, like, for five seconds, I'm like, this is a really convincing toy. Oh, it's just a bat. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And I think I got it. It was only a week or two ago. There was a bat flying around downstairs. Sister was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> she was screaming really loud, and I was like, "Shut up! It's just a bat. Open the door." And she went by cat, but she was like shrieking like a banshee. Um, I think I just go back here. Do we? No, we go this way. Okay, well, um, yeah, and that's why the bat. You know, because how bats like see through like a location. Something screeching like that. Of course they're gonna fly at it. That's how they see things. That would that would be so weird. Yeah, I don't know that would be But I would I would imagine something that has really good hearing would freak the fuck out when something's going like like um, it was like really late. And I was like Did I come downstairs, there's a bat. I went downstairs and I'm like, I don't see a bat, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> I didn't see I was like, oh and then I saw it flying, I was like, oh that's fine. Open the door. It's like we did, we opened the back door. I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna go back upstairs then. I was into that. Bats really aren't scary. It's like the, they're 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 about as scary. Like yeah, sure, rats are kind of scary because of how you know if you see a giant rat, it's you know. But most times mice aren't scary because they're so tiny. It's like what are they gonna do? Tiny mice. Eh, you know. But bats are even less scary because they fly. I don't know. It makes them less scary to me because they're so tiny and they fly. It's like okay, now they can't even hide because they're flying. Like mice can hide in all holes and stuff. They're bats. They can't, you know what I mean? I don't know. That was a long discussion about bats, wasn't it? Well, we keep fighting bats and I don't get it. So, it's not bad. Okay, good. Let's talk about these pirates. I think, yeah. That work. <laughs> that work for Tibet and our attendant to it. It's one of okay. It's like I just got a lot quieter. <clears throat> Strange birds. Uh, out cold in that dark cave. Uh, what cave? Let's talk to, well, let's talk to this guy. Dar, who are you protecting the hideout? Good for you. This cave? I, what cave? Oh, I need to click the button. Jeez. Uh, Some button. The other button down here, maybe? Let's click it. I like this pirate music. It's good. Anyway. Go through. I want the treasure. Heather. Alright. Dent. Alright. 300 GP. Alright. It's like, isn't this Ferris's hideout? So yeah, it's fine. We take the treasure. Okay. I was just wondering. You know, I always thought that in games, like, there's a lot of games where you just go around, especially games like this, where you go around picking up treasure chests, and it's like, in people's houses. It's like, well, doesn't that mean it's their treasure? Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Boko. Orc! He's hurt. Say, so I can't even do that in my voice. His leg in the cave, he did. So I carried him here. Oh, don't you worry, I'll look after him. Who the hell are you? Taking care of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, leave it to me. What do you say, wizard? You a wizard? No, 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 wizard. Or you're wearing pajamas. Uh, people actually wear pajamas. I, I never, I don't think I've ever met a person that actually just wears pajamas. Like, it seems so strange. Oh, pajamas. However you say it. 
car. We be pirates. Do as we please. You know, you didn't. Those other guys were at the end. Quite connected on how that worked. Okay. Huh. Gotta do our best with the cat. Anything in here? It'd be weird if something's in the empty spot. Like, that would be. Uh, it would seem a little tricky to me. Uh, oh. So now we're just stuck over here. That's fine. Uh. <laughs> uh yeah, I think that's all we needed. I don't like. I think we were supposed to do that for. Uh, how do we get out of here? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm really trying to think. Okay. Well. Yeah, no, I don't care. You can't, okay, if you're trying to get all the blue magic, there's, uh, that move that the bats use where they suck your blood, um, you can know. I, I don't care, too. It's not, like, arrow, I think, is worth running. That move, not. Not at all. So, I was just thinking, like, oh, I didn't get it, and now I don't feel like getting it, so, I don't care. Um, <laughs> Cause it's not like, okay, I'll, I'll make sure to get the really good stuff, but everything else, it's like, I, I just don't care. I'm not gonna get everything. Oh, cool. And a job level. Alright. See, that's why you just do this. You have to stay, like, you can switch jobs as much as you want, but you gain experience in that job. So, if you want to learn everything with every character in every job, you'd have to just pick one job, go through a dungeon. Pick another job, go through the same dungeon. Pick up, like, and just keep doing that every time. Like, go through the dungeon like, five times or whatever. So, we're headed back to the ship now. Um, we're just checking out Bogo. So that's, yeah, I mean, he's, he's a good guy. He's a good bird. Good bird. Okay, so... Fight more bad guys. Hey, <laughs> other bad guys. Well, I mean, look at him. Just look at him. Wow, uh, that's so bigoted. I can't believe you just say that. Based on the way they look? Yeah. And that they're attacking me. Like, I'm just walking down the cave, and all of a sudden they step in front of me, like, hey, you know, this is my house. I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm just walking through, bud. Like, I don't think so. Give us all your gold. I'm like, ah, okay. And your blood. What? Why? Why? You're the bad. That's the most bad stuff in the I, I, I'm sure I've never met a vampire, but I'll admit that. I'm sure I never met a vampire, but, you know. It's just really strange to think that, like, you don't say that, right? You don't say, I think I've seen, you know, you don't say that. I've met a few dogs, you know what I mean? Like, like, you've seen a few dogs, I don't know. But, like, I've seen a few bats, you know? It's like, I've met bats. Like, such a weird thing to say. Like, you know, it's weird in one sense, and another it's like, well, no, it makes sense. I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, I've met a few bats. Well, I, yeah, you shake their, you know, shake their wing. How you doing, you know? Just, you know, firm handshake and all that. How you doing, bat? Or would you like to sleep during the daytime? Sorry, you know, I'll wake you up. I, I don't know how this looks to you guys, by the way. The um, because I like my uh, the way I have my screen, my monitor. I have the color maxed out. Well, not maxed out, but very high. Like it, it's much. It's higher than like normal. So I don't know what it looks like on another. Like I have because I have enough monitor, and I look at it and I go, "Oh, no, the, 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 the grass looks like, like almost neon on that computer." Because the image is like smaller than that computer, I have the brightness up higher, <laughs> or, or that monitor. I would say computer. That monitor I have the brightness up higher, so it looks a little weird. Because I don't have like you know usually you just get two identical monitors, but I'm, like, I just have one TV and I'm like, well I need one that's a little, a little, little better. It doesn't cost much more. So. so let's go back to Tool Village. I think we need to take a nap or something. You know how it is in these games. You gotta you know, go to the inn and go to sleep or something. To, <laughs> I took one step. I took one step. Sorry. Alright, yeah, kill these guys. This is a regular goblin. The black goblin, I think, just has black hair. Oh no. Oh, she did a lot of damage to that guy. Jeez. They should make the white mage do undead damage, I think. Like, you know, I don't know. I feel like that's the thing they should do. Like, because you're using like, healing stabs and stuff, I feel like. You shouldn't have to use cure or something to heal undead to do damage. You should be able just to do damage by virtue of being a white mage. Yeah, see you around, Ferris. Have a nice day. Alright, so... 
Oh, right, right, right. I remember where to go. I was thinking, like, where? Oh, that place we went last time. So we've been. I swear I missed something, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> there it was. Um, this guy's house. Yeah, he's here now. I, I don't know if he. I think you have to go to Boko um, and find him, you know, in the cave with the pirates. And you should, because there's treasure there. But I think you have to do that for this to take place. So, so for the story to continue, you have to do that. Anyway. Oh, Princess Raina. Sock. Call him Sock from now on. Yeah. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> How have you been? Sock. <laughs> I have a favor to ask of you. We need to get to Watts through the Twilight Canal. With the Crystal Guard on that canal, it's a monster's nest. It's too dangerous. Besides, I lost the key. Ah, nonsense. Princess, why don't you at least stay the night here? Hey, don't be creepy. Come on. Splendid. This way, please. Wait, we didn't say anything. Okay, I mean, it's a nice house. It's a big house. A nice house, I guess. I don't know if it's nice. It's big. You know, you can have a big house and not have it furnished very well, you know, and then it's not a very nice house. Here though, is this just cicadas, or are those just crickets, or are they both? I'm not sure. Sound like crickets. Got half empty cups on your table. That's how you get flies, you know. Just saying. I'm not controlling any of this, by the way. Um, crystals reminds me of my parents. Oh yeah. Oh. Flashback time. Oh okay. Hey, wow, he has like green hair. I must defend the crystal at all costs. If something ever happens to me, never tell Booble about the crystal. I don't want it to burden him. Darling, please don't talk like that. What's that pink thing over there? Looks out of place. I can pick it up. I like that music. That was cool. I also like this. I like 8-bit, like, cicada. Like, it sounds so weird. Like, it's a 16-bit, but I love it. Like, it sounds so creepy. Oh, he's just staring at her. Okay. F Father, I I'll defend the crystals. <laughs> Don't walk like that. What is wrong? You look so weird. Is something the matter? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about my parents. They were very dear to me. Oh, yeah? Here, take this. What is it? The key to the canal. Use it to open the gate and pass through the vaults. I didn't lie because I was worried about Raina. Oh, yeah? But please promise me you'll protect Raina. Sure. Give me the key, old man. Alright, see, I keep making these clicky clacky noises on another picked up by the microphone, and I don't like it. I gave all my games in boxes, by the way. Like in boxes, like shipping boxes. Like all my physical, you know, games. And so I have most of them underneath another stand. But I have this one right here, you know, on this stand. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing, that's a nice thing to say. I, you know, I appreciate it. Can I read his diary? I doubt it, but I'm not going to try Okay. Um, yeah, so now we can go down to the camp. That's what we're gonna do. Excited. Well, you know, maybe I should. I feel like I should in the episode. Um, yeah. Well, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this box. I keep hitting it with my knee. Oh, oh, yeah, see, they're kind of coming with us this time. Get me. Wait. Gar. I'm leaving ya. What? Get my we'll fly out wherever you go. Eh. No. <laughs> but get Looks to be a long journey. But I'm gone, you brigands got the booty. Captain. Go oh, ask your captain martyrs. But Aye aye, Captain. 
big babies. Pattern, fairly well. That's a nice thing to say. Nice thing to say. Oh, they all wait. They're friendly pirates. Okay, that's cool. So, I think we need to end in the episode here. Uh, next time, we'll go through the Torn Canal. Maybe we'll fight a monster. Who knows? And, uh, yeah. So, that's it. This is Sir George. See you later, guys.